everyone, welcome back to my vlog and today I want to share some books I've been reading over the summer. My particular genre of choice that I do like and that is horror. And these are kind of hard to find for young adults and so I thought I'd share with you the two titles that I just found amazingly good. So let's start out with this one. The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. This story is about Violet Saunders. Uh, she and her mother have decided that after her sister's death, they are going to return to the small town of Four Paths. Now, Four Paths has been around forever, and there are four founding families. That is the Carlisles, the Hawthorns, the Saunders, and the Sullivans. And these founding families have a very special task when it comes to this town. This town is not quite what it seems. On the outside it looks normal, but the townspeople and the founding families know that there is the beast. And the beast is being held in the gray. For founding families, they have special powers that allow them to keep the beast at bay. Some of the powers include bringing life back from death, being able to touch somebody and erase some of their memories, and even creating stone guardians that can come alive. And now there are five teenagers left to take on the responsibility of the Founding Fathers. But not all of the teenagers have passed their rituals. So Violet comes in and she is really not sure what is going on, but she feels something different is happening. She blacks out and she finds herself in the gray where she can hardly breathe and hardly struggle. She does meet Harper at school and Harper has also spent time in the devouring gray. Harper was there for four days and managed to survive with just the loss of an arm. She also meets the Hawthorns, Justin and May. They're in charge of the town. Well, their mother is in charge of the town and you do not cross their mother. They also are very interested in Violet and what she possesses, the powers that she possesses. Then you have Isaac. Isaac is that standalone and very dangerous person who will use his powers to hurt others if need be. After Violet spent time in the Devouring Grey, she comes back out and she and the rest of the founding family members decide that they need to get together to defeat the beast. But little do they know that the founding families have added something very unique to this whole twist. Oh my gosh, this book was just amazing. It was one of those books where I picked it up and I couldn't wait to finish it. It has mystery in it. It has magical realism in it. It very much reminded me of The Bone Gap, but this is very much for teenagers. And the characters in them were very well written, very well rounded, and you got to know them. It wasn't a cheesy horror novel, but a really good, strong, magical realism slash horror book. So if you have teens who like horror and fantasy, give them this book. Either genre, it'll work for them. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe so that you are notified when more vlog posts come out. And we will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.